the sideline as the triplets slipped to bounce back from their loss last week. Let's take a look at the key rules brought to you by Verizon. First to 50 wins. There's no game clock in the big three. Free throws if you're found shooting a two-point shot from the foul line. Three-point shot from the arc. And yes, they're the four-point circles, three of them 30 feet away. Certainly what makes the big three the top professional three-on-three -three league in the world. Let's do it. Let's see if the Ghost Ballers can piece it together without Mike Taylor and the triplets get back in the win column. Well, it's interesting, too, how the triplets and Lisa Leslie are starting. No Al Jefferson in the lineup a little smaller, quicker with Jamario Moon. That time, Allen Anderson able to get to the baseline, knowing that also for the Ghost Ballers, Chris Johnson loves to play on the perimeter, but right there using the size to get inside to get himself to the free throw line. So for the Ghost Ballers, you're looking at Johnson, along with Ricky Davis and Stefan Hanna. Right. Six foot one, never played in the NBA, played in college at Missouri, number 44 in gray, a late addition to the roster. So he's the third starter as Johnson gets the Ghost Ballers on the board. Joe Johnson, Alan Anderson, Jamario Moon for the triplets, uh, triplets. They're in red here in this one. Well, Hanna played seven seasons in the G League. But he played internationally in Cyprus, Lithuania, the Philippines, Italy, Colombia. Listen, Italy, Colombia, Cyprus. It's a great country and city. It's a good gig. Oh, it's a great gig. <laughs> I mean, and I love Italy. So, you know, played at Missouri in the Big 12. So, he, maybe not the NBA experience. You see Joe right there doing what he does best. But he's played for a while. One thing you see in the big three, especially with the mid-season additions, it's an adjustment, but there's also that element to the unknown. Teams haven't faced them yet. We'll yeah. see if Hannah can throw a couple of wrinkles in his game here against But the I'm going to tell you what's known. Joe Johnson on the post is hard to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I mean, I don't care how you cut it that time, just creating space. But, again, with the league itself, that's why you have alternates and people that can come in and play that the rosters do change based on injuries. Again, we're in the COVID times, too, so you have to be flexible. Now, Moon took the inbounds. Johnson drills the three, and Iso Joe looking good at the outset. 7-2 lead for the triplets. Well, but Joe takes this serious. I mean, in regards to his training, offseason, all year round, he stays in top physical shape, so it's not a surprise to me why he dominates because he, he this is not just a summer thing he works on his body and game Ooh. all year round tipped it missed it and that's how chris johnson could have tipped it took it up because it didn't touch the rim johnson and johnson chris over joe popped out the captains Moon from Joe nails the three. So Iso Cho gets doubled. Jamario Moon sinks it. 10 2 start. But here's the thing Chris Johnson had the eye. He had his eyes on Joe in the post. Just giving that much space, and Joe gave it up and had it right there with a the good <laughs> shot. Able to kick it out for Jamario Moon for an open shot. If you're smart and you play with Joe, give him space, force the defense to either have to help. If they don't, Joe has the advantage, but when they do, be ready to shoot as Jamario Moon was able to knock it in. He's directing his guys. Now a three. Halfway down. Big rebound. Allen Anderson hustling it in. And the triplets flexing their muscles early. A 12-4 lead against the Ghost Ballers. Well, the versatility in Lisa Leslie lineup allows them to be able to do things like just up early, just telling people what to do. Allen Anderson let you know I'm just not a shooter. I can get down in the paint like the big boys. I've always been a fighter. looking for a job. I got nowhere. 
this. Help me deal with that frustration. Things changed when I tried ZipRecruiter because it works like a free personal recruiter. ZipRecruiter sent me great jobs. I applied with a click. Some companies even invited me to apply. I started a new job last week. Dad? This still helps. Go to ZipRecruiter.com and put ZipRecruiter to work for you. Big three. Three, 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 three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big three, come on. Three, three, three. Yeah, three, yeah, 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 yeah. Three, three, three. Now that's a magic number. Got the homies balling out for the whole damn summer in that four point circle with that ghost ball of purple. If you check the roster, got a three head monster. Now them killer threes are like killer bees. Start dropping threes like trilogies, like companies, like PIG. Follow Big Three Basketball all across social media on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Triller, and YouTube. Here in Las Vegas, week seven in the Big Three, Joe Johnson and the triplets looking good in the early going against the Ghost Ballers. Iso Joe, Jimmy, it hasn't just been the scoring, but the playmaking here for the triplets. Listen, I saw it firsthand when I played with him in Phoenix. It's his ability to attract the defense and then make the right play, the smart play. It's not always about shooting the basketball, but we I mean, no joke can put the ball in the basket, but setting up, the, and here's the pass right here, understanding and recognizing the defense. It's real simple, right? Guys open, get them the ball so they can shoot. That's the simplicity of the game. You know, you look at someone like Joe Johnson. I mean, he was a great player, seven-time All-Star. Yeah. His teams in his career made the playoffs his last 10 seasons. Really speaks to the type of guy he was and the value he brought to his rosters. And he almost always played 80 games or so. I mean, oh, yeah, he was durable. But you, you could depend on John. I remember when we were in Phoenix, he was kind of frustrated with the Suns and not offering him the contract that he thought he deserved before he left. You see a charge right there by Ricky Davis. And I told Joe, we were talking, I said, just be patient. It's going to come back around to you. The Suns didn't offer the deal that he wanted. Bam, Atlanta, guess what? On to the next one. Go on to the next one. And it paid off for him. But for a young player, at times it can be frustrating. Right. But he was patient enough in his game, did the talking, hence he got was able to get multiple contracts and got paid big bucks. 17 NBA seasons yep. for Joe Johnson. He nearly made the Detroit roster a couple of years yep. ago. It was a late scratch. It was released at the end of training camp in the preseason. Had a really good shot of going straight from the big three to the NBA. Now Jefferson into the game for the triplets for Jamario Moon. Craig Smith, who missed the two games in the Midwest for the Ghost Ballers, comes on for George Driven. A oh, four point shot. Wide open. Little breakdown for the Ghost Ballers. It's going to stay with the triplets with a new 14. I think with this lineup, too, they're going to look to see if they can get Al Jefferson. That's an easy play, out of bounds. And again, simple plays like that. Joe Johnson was the guy that, how many times we say it, the person inbounding the ball is the most dangerous. Yep. That time, instead of going into the corner, backdoor cut, easy layup inside. 14-4. Davis can't chip into it. Iso Joe hadn't cleared it. Anderson gets a look. Nails the three. Oh, off balance. Put three fingers down. A 17 to 4 lead for the triplets. Davis got caught up in midair. Joe Johnson with a takeaway. There he is out of the double again. Anderson back to back triples for the triplets. And they lead big in Vegas. Is it me or do the triplets make the game look real easy? Totally. Unselfish play. Off offensively, defensively, they help each other. And, and again, Craig Smith missed there. It's Joe with the corner jump shot. That's why picking and choosing your personnel, speaking of personnel, Ricky Davis able to knock it in, is so critical in this. And who works well together. And everybody knows their roles on this team. And they continue that from their success they had this year. And they play the same way. And that's why they're at the top of the leaderboards and right now have a dominating lead over the ghost ball. 
you know, you win the championship, you get to bring your entire roster back, yeah. and there is that familiarity. Anderson was one of those guys who won the ring in 2019. But, but it's the unselfish play, knowing your role, doing your job, not letting your ego get involved. And again, I go back to Lisa Leslie because of the way she communicates with her, you know, team. Their demeanor follows how she is a coach and how she is a, was as a player. Hannah missing the rim. Al Jefferson with the cleanup duty. 22 to 7. Triplets with the lead. Their 11 game winning streak over two seasons snapped last week as Hannah comes up short. We're right back to business here in Vegas today. Anderson, they still need to clear Iso Joe against Alex Scales. Size. Ball away. You know, Got it to beat the clock. You know, size wins, right? <laughs> <laughs> Joe, patient with the shot clock. He knew where he wanted to get to. Right below the free throw line, able to knock it in. The scales tries to answer. Let's get the halftime right here with Joe. Ball in his hands, going to make the right play all day. Jefferson, the fake, the finish, and the triplets just owning the ghost ballers. 26 to 7, halftime in Vegas. Well, listen, it's this phrase called easy money. And that relates to the trippers right here because Joe Johnson able to get to a spot and use his big body. Alex Scales, great defense, but better old. Joe making it work inside. And then when he's not making baskets, he's able to make plays. Al Jeff inside. Like I said, easy money once again. Trippers 26, Ghost Ball is 7. We did it again. Verizon has been named America's most reliable network by Root Metrics. And our customers rated us number one for network quality in America, according to JD Power. Number one in reliability 16 times in a row. Most awarded for network quality 27 times in a row. Proving once again that nobody builds networks like Verizon. That's why we're building 5G right. That's why there's only one best network. I've always been a fighter. One road with one goal. I've never faced a style like Belfort. It's a fucking monster. We both understand what it's like to be warriors. Sacrifice it all if I got to. And ready for war. Let's fucking fight. No, no pain, no glory. My job search was so frustrating. Baking helped with my stress. ZipRecruiter helped with my job search. It's like a free personal recruiter doing the heavy lifting for me so I can apply with a click. Some companies even invited me to apply. It worked. I start Monday. Hope my suit still fits. Go to ZipRecruiter.com and put ZipRecruiter to work for you. It's been the Joe Johnson Show in Vegas. Triplets 26-7 lead on the Ghost Ballers at the break. Our final game of the day. Updated standings in the big three. Tri-State Trilogy, three-headed monsters, all notching wins earlier today. So along with the Triplets, each with five wins, Triplets can maintain their spot in first place if they hold off the Ghost Ballers here this afternoon. Lisa Leslie and the Triplets... What a run it's been. The head coach of the triplets is Mike Dub. Don't let anybody outwork us today. Here we go. One, two, three, defense. defense. You can also set that back screen, all right? Let's get him on the block. Be good, be good. Offensively, we're fine, but the part that I like the most, the fact that we're hustling on the shot, we're reacting fast. That's the difference right there. And scoring fast, you good. You learn very quickly when you're on this triplets team, when you're playing with the best the league has ever seen. Everybody has their roles, and they do it as well as any team in the league. Well, accepting who you are and what your role and, roles and responsibility is always said. It's not easy to accomplish, yeah. but the triplets have it down. Pack, and you heard Lisa Leslie. That's the reason why. Yep. Her demeanor and how she coaches. Coach of the year yep. two years ago. Her team 
in first place. Alan Anderson. Jimmy got some really good looks and nailed it from inside and outside too. Well, mixing up his game, not just selling for jump shots, putting the ball on the deck, rebounding the basketball. Now he gets inside, able to use his size to score. So a great compliment to Joe Johnson. That's a great outlet, a guy that can knock down shots, but on, not only that, plays unselfish and can dance a little bit too. Michigan State over with John Sally. John. Hello, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> so, the practices, the practices yeah. with Lisa, are they in, as intense as she is? Yes, sir. I mean, they, they just like a real NBA walkthrough getting ready for the for the game. We, we go through a couple plays they like. We go through our plays that we want to run, and we emphasize what we want to do for the whole game. Well, I'm not going to, you know, start anything, but I was interviewing George Gervin, and he said that the triplets are only ISO Joe. Yeah. So what do you think about what I said? Appreciate that. Keep, <laughs> keep guarding Joe. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, good luck, brother. See, I almost got him. John, another Big Ten guy is extremely smart. He understands <laughs> it, brother. <laughs> Did you feel that way about Michigan State guys in the late 80s and early 90s, or now you can really appreciate it? Uh, I, you know, let me tell you something. Steve Smith was <laughs> tough, you know. He was tough. tough. Uh, play Big 3 Fantasy only on the Super Draft app. You can win a trip to the Big 3 Finals in the Bahamas. Use code BIG3 for an instant $30 deposit match. Let's do it. Second half in Vegas at Cohen. Jim Jackson, John Sally, our entire crew on Triller. Produced by Scott Brenwine, director Matt Plundo, and the gang. Well, we'll see if any adjustments are going to be made by the Ghost Ballers, the same starting lineup starting this second half by both teams. But let's see if George Gervin kind of implements a little something different to get these guys back in the game. And Anderson, let's see again. Focus on Joe. Go right ahead. Let me do me. This guy's got 13 points. A little step back, Chris Johnson late to the party, three ball corner park, pocket. So the ghost ballers, you have Moon, excuse me, Davis, Johnson, and Hannah. Yep. Anderson, Moon, and Joe Johnson for the triplets. Moon, a former ghost baller, over Johnson. Those two are traded for one another two years ago. Chris Johnson sinks the three. Nice step back from the big fella. Yeah, now Chris can't do that. I think you should involve him a little bit more in the pick and roll to force Jamario Moon to have to guard him. Because if you help on Ricky Davis, Chris Johnson can step back, or Hannah, he can step back and knock in those shots. And it's an easier way to get back in the game if you're knocking down threes. Joe Johnson steps out, three pointer blocks. Davis cleaning it up on the swap by Chris Johnson. The captain, Ricky Davis. Again, Mike Taylor likely done for the year for the Ghost Ballers. There's the double. Anderson in his spot. The three gets fouled and gets a three-point shot. One for three on the contact from Ricky Davis. No bring the fire. But, you know, it, it's so hard to stay disciplined like Ricky Davis, knowing that you got a shooter in the corner, but you see Joe Johnson coming downhill, and you want to help. Okay, so now you caught in between. Like, do I give up the layup or do I stay at home in the corner? You can't be in between. And that time, he got caught. Ricky Davis in between, trying to help. Came out late, committed the foul. Three-point shot. Allen Anderson rattles it in. What a game he has had, Jimmy, with 16 now. A 20-point triplets lead. Moon denies the pass. Johnson... Anderson corner. It's not just the scoring, the playmaking, the rebounding. Iso Joe to the rim, got it up high and scores again. Did I say something first half about easy money? <laughs> <laughs> did, did I say that? They just hand it to you. You don't need to go to the window nah, or anything. Nah, bro. I mean, make change for what? I mean, at that time, Joe got caught. Inside, but you, you got to keep in mind, Joe's 6'8", bro, with a big body. So him doing this right here makes it look easy, but this is years and years of work. But then have an extreme amount of talent to back that work up. 
Chris Johnson, clean up, rolled off. Anderson, corner. He's had a couple nice looks from that left corner. Look at the matchup inside. Anderson pulling Johnson out of the paint. Joe Johnson, step back. Corner three is good for Iso Joe. The triplets rolling here in Vegas. Set a timeout on the floor. Quick shot, get it out. Iso Joe, money in the bank. Big three. Three, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Big three, come on. Three, 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 yeah, three, yeah, 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 yeah. Three, three, three. Now that's a magic number. Got the homies balling now for the whole damn summer in that four point circle with that ghost ball of purple. If you check the roster, got a three hand monster. Now them killer threes are like killer bees. Start dropping threes like trilogies, like companies, like PIG. We did it again. Verizon has been named America's most reliable network by Root Metrics. And our customers rated us number one for network quality in America, according to JD Power. Number one in reliability 16 times in a row. Most awarded for network quality 27 times in a row. Proving once again that nobody builds networks like Verizon. That's why we're building 5G right. That's why there's only one best network. I've always been a fighter. One road with one goal. I've never faced a style like Belfort. A fucking monster. We both understand what it's like to be warriors. Sacrifice it all if I got to. And ready for war. Let's fucking fight. No, no pain, no glory. What up, baby? I like it. Yeah. Don't forget to enter the Big Three Bring the Fire promotion where you'll have the chance to win a weekly cash prize and a trip to the Big Three Championship in the Bahamas. Scan the QR code now or text 500 to 75303 to sign up for texts and enter. Here in Vegas, triplets up on the Ghost Ballers. The Hall of Famer Lisa Leslie is mic'd up. You want to roll on that. He can't guard you. Defense, he's doing so much that it's better on the pass. Actually, let's come back to 53. Come on. That's good hustle. I'm just telling you, one of your players said you was as crazy as Gary Payton at practice yesterday. Listen, I hate losing. I put on the Killer Threes color today to remind my team that we just came off of a loss and we're going to have to take it out on the, the, the Ghost Ballers today. Sorry, but we're trying to get to the Bahamas. We need to go 4 0 from here, John. I'm with him. Listen to the coach. Thank you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Jimmy, the Killer Threes colors, that is motivational tactic and we haven't seen very often in the Big Three. No, no, that's coming from. A champion on multi levels, whether that's WNBA, the Olympics, she understands how to motivate her team. And sometimes it's not what you say, it's your actions. And just by wearing that and her being at practice made a statement, and her team has responded. 37 12 triplets. Joe Johnson short on the three. So scales, Chris Johnson, Ricky Davis for the Ghost Ballers. Iso Joe with Allen Anderson and Jamario Moon for the triplets. The reigning MVP draws, kicks, Anderson with another trifecta. He's got 19 now, and Joe Johnson, maybe most impressive number, five assists in the game. Johnson over Johnson. Anderson corner. How many times have we said that? Has never seen a corner three he doesn't like. Nope. You know, ghost ballers are getting some good shots. They just can't knock them in. I mean, they've had opportunities. 
But then, too, when you get down like this, when the other team is making shots, you tend to squeeze and press a little bit. So those open shots are not shot freely because you're trying to get yourself back in the game. Scales, nice look. Scales drills it off the dribble. They had a great moment this week. Major League Baseball in Dyersville, Iowa. The Field of Dreams game. White Sox and Yankees. Obviously a great character from Field of Dreams. It's Moonlight Graham. Got one at bat in the Major Leagues. Alex Scales played in the NBA in one game. Jimmy, he played nine seconds in a game in 2005 for the Spurs against the Phoenix Suns. Spurs won that game 97-91, November 19th of 2005. Nine seconds, I'm sure, he'll never forget. Modern-day Moonlight Graham of the NBA in the Big Three. I, I like that background information. And Alex, and I think Alex was in camp with me in Phoenix the following year. Mm. I think he was. You know, back to the Field of Dreams scene, that's, I, I love that part of it. Now, keep in mind, remember hockey played the outdoor yep. game? Where, where, where was that at? Was it in... Winter Classic has moved around. Winter, yeah, Epi, but that's... I mean, basketball, you try to figure out where that would be, but I don't know how you could equate that. Who's your gym? It's so small. Well, but that's, that's at Butler. Where they played the championship. Where they played the championship is at Butler. Down the road is where the high school where the gym. high school gym. Yeah, you know what I mean? So could you could you find a place football wise outside that has that nostalgia? Gibson down the lane, easy bucket in the You know what I mean? Can we go to the horseshoe? Oh, well, you know, <laughs> always the horseshoe. But you know what I mean? Something that's an old maybe where well, they do it at Canton. Yeah. You know what I mean? With the Pro Football Hall of Fame. You know, because it, not that it originated in Ohio, but it's an iconic kind of historic marker. I'm just trying to think for basketball and football, could you? We have to find a place. We, we got to find a place. You know, baseball, I mean, that's great with that. Hockey, out of scale. The basketball and football is a little bit more challenging, I think. I think all hoop heads became really jealous because you want to find that place that can create the moment we saw. It was it was really special for any sports fans, certainly baseball fans, the other night in Dyersville, Iowa. Just a wonderful scene. Maybe the palestra. Ooh. You know what I mean? Um, I wish there was a place like the Forum that was still standing. And well, the Forum is there. You could have a game there. The Forum is there. Yeah. You know, maybe have a... Not necessarily the Lakers, but have two teams that are at the top of the division, East and West play. I don't know. It, it'll be interesting to see if you could, if you could pull it off. And this, I mean, this this raining everywhere. Is that, I mean, what can the Trippers do? <laughs> they were point away. I think they they thought that might have been for the game. Is that was a technical foul on the ghost ballers. If so, then they'll get a free throw here, and that could be into your You realize it's 49 to 19. Yeah. Now, the ghost ballers are not a bad team. But the triplets made the ghost ballers look like a bad team. Yeah. You know? Now, you're talking about being focused for the game after losing and how a team responds at the top of the show. We talked about how would they respond. Well, here's your answer. IQ. Teddy Gibson, the original triplet from Arkansas. Here in the big three, wins it for the modern-day triplets. 51-19, safe to say what happened in Chicago stays there. They turn the corner on their only loss this year in a big way. Flip on the radar screen. Again, the professionalism by the triplet team to come back. And then Lisa Leslie having them focus on what's important. And my man, Iso Joe with John Sally, we're going to hear a little bit from him. I'm sure he'll talk about the bounce back. And Lisa Leslie right there with the, she says she don't like to lose. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Different so, story today. Iso Joe with John Spider Sally. So Iso, the, the plan, Lisa Leslie said she had to uh, divert all the offense from you and go to Allen Anderson. Was that, what was the idea? Something like that, but we, we want those guys to be aggressive, man. We come off a tough loss. 
but we wanted to bounce back, you know, in a big way. I thought we did tonight. I thought Allen played great moves. Even Teddy coming in at the end, giving us great minutes. We're going to need a contribution from everybody. All right, you only got 14 points. We're usually seeing you in the high, and your team still won. So the idea and the focus, as Lisa said, is not to lose again, but to win in the Bahamas. But we got to take it one game, one game at a time. We got one more game left during the regular season. Let's come out and take care of business. But I like, you know, when guys are aggressive, making shots, playing great defense. It's fun that way when everybody touches it. Yeah, Jimmy Johnson was up, uh, Jackson was up there talking about how you were six eight to put the ball in the basket. You remember how Jimmy never used to pass the ball? Who? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. No one knows you as a passer. Good luck. Bro. Hey, John. Stop it, bro. <laughs> I, hey, if anything, I watch you play. You ain't pass it either. <laughs> that was a, a leading question. It wasn't a question. It was a statement. <laughs> that's the thing. He led Joe in the net, and Joe, who? That's there what you he go. said. Hey, triplets make a statement here in a big way. Six and one record. Tri-State Trilogy. Three-headed monsters all pick up their fifth victories here today in Las Vegas. So, triplets end the day with a big response over the Ghost Ballers. So for Jim Jackson, John Sally, and entire crew, I'm in Cohen. Wrapped up in week seven in Las Vegas. Thanks for watching the big three on Triller and Fight TV. I spent months looking for a job.